All right, we'll take out a little tour of our uh, garage wiring project. So this uh, four outlet box is uh, just because we have our metal chop saw, our grinder, and our wood chop saw kind of all on this table that needs to be cleaned off. And we've always got them plugged into uh, extension cord because there was no outlet there before. Then we added these lights, one, two, three, going across. And also that light switch in the outlet here, that's outlet for Kim's feed grinder. Normally that had to stretch across the uh, walking path here with uh, it wouldn't even reach so we had to have extension cord just to make the extra foot where it was too short so we'll be able to plug that in now to this outlet and then we got the switch here for those three lights all leds so we got a little power on this wall now it all kind of comes from that original outlet so it's all on one circuit which is Nobody's, uh, you know, dream uh, for things, but uh, it, it's going to work because it used to be this outlet uh, switch or breaker circuit, and uh, <clears throat> and we were just plugging in extension cords this thing anyway. So, so anyways, the whole reason we did all this was to get power to the ring camera, which is way on the other end. So I'm gonna just pan the whole deal here now. So it all comes out of that box up there. We clipped the wire that comes down to the outlet and we ran it all along that top. So we put in one, two, three, four lights up there. It's just insane how much brighter it is in the shop now in the garage here. Once we got to the other side over here, you know, again, we were trying to run wa the wire all the way to the other end to have an outlet down there for the ring camera. So we put an outlet and a light bulb there. Then we travel along here, down this wall. Every time we put a light, we just came down with an outlet box. So we'll be able to plug in battery chargers or run a drill from that, all kinds of good stuff. Another one here, on this side of the window. And then when we get over here, we've got our box up there for plugging in the, like I say, the ring camera specifically. Then we've got an outlet down here just for table saw, drill press, whatever we need. And here's also the switch for the lights on, on this whole side. So now all those guys are off. One, two, three on this side, one, two, three, four, five across the back, which is on a different switch than the three on that other wall over there. And when you hit that switch, the whole place lights up real nice. Very, very good. So now we feel we're in hog heaven on power and light bulbs. And uh, again, you know, everything's on one circuit, but we're never running two of anything ever anyways. We're running the table saw or running the drill press. The only thing that's gonna kick this a little bit is the chop saw in the welder. But that circuit is just not strong enough for those anyways, which is why I took a heavy cord and I wired it right into the, <clears throat> right into the panel so we have this cord here coming wired. Like I say, the other end is wired right into the panel on a, I'm going to say 30 or 40 amp breaker. It's a, I don't think I could get a 50 for a uh, single phase or single pole uh, breaker for anything over 40 maybe. Anyways, when I plug the welder into this or I plug this chops onto this, I never break the uh, breaker anymore off of this cord. So that'll still be the plan, even though I show it plugged in here. That's not really the uh, goal. Because then it breaks the breaker, not every time, maybe every 10 or 15th time I 
chop something with this chop saw, just the startup uh, amps is enough. It breaks the breaker after a while, and I don't like that. I don't like going to the basement to flip it. So this will actually be plugged into that uh, straight cord to the power uh, power box. And then whenever I do the welder, I plug a heavy cord into here and then run it over to the welder wherever I'm at and do the welding. So that is a tour of the electrical work. All right, have a good day.